A corner of deliciousness. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Date and I'm your humble narrator. Welcome back to Grav. I have leveled up my classes quite a bit, uh, at least to level 25 each. So we will uh, hopefully not die on the low level planets. It seems that I've outgrown my home planet just a little bit, so it'll be a nice thing to uh, go and try and find a new home, things like that. Oh yeah, I got that, uh, that jumper working as well. Here, fling me! Yeah! <laughs> Just experiments. Experiments! Home planet Stargate. I don't think that's the one that I want. I want low planets. Yes. Kruna Pasque, Deflau, uh, Arid Terra. Arid Terra sounds pretty cool. I'll probably remember Kruna just because it's at the top of the list, so let's do some space travel. Uh, let's check Arid Terra first. Yeah, it caps out at 29. So I want to be able to keep going to the uh, absolute maximum, at least uh, as long as this game is still considered fun <laughs> for me and you and everyone involved. So off to Kruna. Well, here we are, the lively expanse on Kruna 9 PFN. Oh, what a glorious place to be. It, uh, well, we'll have to, we'll have to do some flying. I got plenty of wood and things like this, I do think. Yeah, not too bad. So we'll scout out a location for our new home. I'm going to miss Pride Rock quite a bit. That was, uh, a nice place to live. But it's time to go upwards and outwards and onwards and other thing words. So kill that jetpack. We'll just fly. I really like the way this uh this giant thing's looking, but it's not a rock. It seems to be a structure, so there's probably going to be a good amount of nasty animals hanging about there. Not something that I want to deal with. Oh, there's another Doom Dome. Look at it. <clears throat> we'll have to build uh another everything basically. Uh I could use my uh what do you call it? Doom buggy in order to get around, but, um, yeah. Can't bring it through the Stargate. I guess it's, uh, too, too big or something to fit through the Stargate. Which is just fine. I guess I'll deal with that. Seems to be a little cave down there of sorts. I could also set up on one of these rocks, but, uh, yeah. Then I'll have to use a jetpack basically every time to get back up. Hmm. Still loading in some rocks and things like this. Level 25 to 28, that is uh, about my limit, I do think. I don't know how high the monsters on this planet can get, but uh, it could be pretty scary. You never quite know. Hmm, there seems to be a big, uh, big expanse out here with not a whole lot of trees or anything. Ooh, loot box. Hello. Dayton does is coming to rescue you, loot box. Oh my god, there's two of them. I guess because there's not uh, any other players to prevent me from getting all this junk. Wonderful! Wondrous well! Hmm. Alright, pristine leaves, gem chunks, shiny fossils. And here we uh, have my, my trusty rifle. This is my rifle, this is my gun! This one's a fight and this one's a fun! There you go, how's that? Oh, these insects are uh, a little difficult to get around. They dodge and flip around and all kinds of crazy shit. Let's see if I can't steal this experience. Yeah, gimme! Gimme, gimme, gimme! Arctic Rusty the Freshmaker. Do, 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 do! Do, uh! Boom, boom, boom! Not the sponsor. We're not gonna finish that. Not a sponsor. <laughs> if you'd like a sponsorship or something like that, you can hit me up. Email address is listed on my about page of my channel. Uh, Mentos, I know you're listening. I know you watch a lot of my videos, Mentos. <laughs> oh, and there's uh, another bug. This is a named bug. They were both named Rusty. I guess they were fighting for the name. Rusty's my name. No, it's my name. Well, I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you back. Awesome! Let's uh, get some more wood. That never hurts. 
3,000 in inventory. I think that's going to be enough to get a, a nice base going. But, yeah. Then I won't have enough for, for jetpacking. You always want to have enough wood for, for filling up your jetpack. <laughs> that's such a funny thing. Why is a jetpack run on wood, first of all? It's like some sort of biofuel or something like that. Is that what I am to assume? I don't think it would work. I don't think you can have a... A wood combustion engine in a jetpack. I don't know if any sort of combustion engine is going to work in a jetpack. I mean, you need some sort of combustion in order to keep it going. But also, um, yeah, it's going to take up a lot of space. You're going to have to burn so much wood every second to keep yourself aloft. Aloft. What a word that is. My goodness. Oh, and Mr. Vendroid's out here. Hey, bro. How you living, man? I'm gonna come over and visit you for a second. Maybe we get some pets or something like that. I still have quite a few uh, experienced pets. Hello, That's what helped me get to uh, level 25 with all this shit. What do you have? Mm, nothing much? That's great. That's great. Yeah, I was hoping he'd have pets available. But not today. He needs to restock himself. I wonder whose job it is to restock all the Mr. Vendroids. Hmm, the Doom Dome seems like a, a decent place to set up. I would like to, uh, maybe get some laser fences or something going. That could be pretty cool. Hmm, but this also seems to be, like, near the edge. And everything out levels me pretty good as well. Oh, what the fuck is that up there? I guess it's just a bunch of bones. A bunch of bones and whatnot. I will set up near the Doom Dome, because uh, if I end up near one of these uh, giant stone monoliths, I'm not going to remember where I live. <laughs> I'm going to be wandering a whole lot, which is not something that I would look forward to. Not one bit. And it seems I also uh, am getting a little bit hungry. My stamina bar is depleting itself. <laughs> That's okay. You can't eat while you're in the air. You think this is like American Airlines or something like that? Oh my god. <laughs> I would just scratch my nose and fucking flip my mouse around. <laughs> oh god. What a spaz. What a spaz I am. But uh, yeah, Doom Dome seems like a pretty good thing to set up near. I think there's just a, a vast expanse of sea out behind it, so we'll definitely have to be going into the island in order to explore just a little bit more. But I really don't know how much more there is to do in this game. I could form uh, some different sort of uh, armor with different types of elements and stuff. Different sorts of weapons with different types of elements. And then you can really get your grind on. Um, but I don't know if I'm, I'm willing to go that deep. I think we've plumbed the depths of Grav. And I am still having a good time with it. I definitely want to uh, experience all that it has to offer. But that element matching thing, mm, it's not it's not the greatest idea I've ever I've ever uh, heard. You know, it doesn't impress me so much. I'm like Shania Twain or something out here. <laughs> that don't impress me much. Huh. I will set up at the base of this rock. It's a tiny one. Yeah, everything out here is level thirty. That's gonna be a pain in my ass. I'll tell you what. Hey. Hey, bro. I hear you over there. Night killer. Yeah, I don't want to let you wander around. Oh, well, he's level 31. I'm not doing shit to him. Maybe this isn't the place to set up. Jeez, Louise. Alright. I'll, uh, try and find another monument of some sorts. If I could call my own. Ah, oh, I was really thinking that Doom Dome would be just fine. If I leveled up just a little bit more, it wouldn't be a problem. But as you can see, I was doing 7 damage per bullet to that guy. So it's going to take a fucking long time to level up. Not something I'm really willing to deal with. Maybe we could just go on top of the mountain. That mountain that I refused the first time around. And then I realized that I was a weak piece of shit. <laughs> So maybe I'll, I'll say sorry, Mountain. I changed my mind about you now. Look at these light effects. Wow. 
shining off of my little ploppet feet. You can see some uh, some sunbeams. That's so nice. Grav is such a likable game. I I wish that they would have done a bit more with it. I guess they just decided, yep, it's good enough. Took it out of early access, but I feel like it could have been so much more, to be completely honest. I'm not completely disappointed by it, obviously. Done quite a few episodes, um, but I had such higher hopes for it from my uh, review video, you know? The review video was absolute shit because my graphics card was just not uh, up to par, <clears throat> especially with, you know, an early access game that's leaking memory everywhere and shit like that. <laughs> uh, but it seems to be relatively fixed now. We still have some slowdown from time to time. Um, but yeah, like I said, I think a lot more could have been done with this game. And uh, kind of disappoints me that they, they called it. I hope some more things will be added, stuff like that. But um, <clears throat> yeah. I don't, I don't know if it's going to happen or not, to be completely honest. Here's uh, some houses or something. Maybe I could set up near them. You guys want to be my friend? I'm your friend out here, guy. Whoa, buddy. Enough of this. He's level 25, too. No problem. I got your fucking number, pal. Alright, I am going to set up over here. This would be a nice place to live. Let's uh, get that building menu going. And uh, probably need some more wood as well. That's always important in building. Oh! Almost died. Just kidding. Can't die. Can't die from that. See? You could, you could add damage from falling trees. That would be a nice thing to have. But oh well. No crying over spilt milk, I do suppose. What the fuck? Just had a thing pop out of the ground. Hello? What What are you doing? Need fossils and wood for the uh, stone rooms. And we've got glass rooms and metal rooms. Am I good enough for these? Yeah, I am. The defense. A large fence to keep out bad people, monsters, bugs. Or maybe to keep them from leaving. Oh, snap. We could do quite a bit with this. A lookout room. Support with ladder. Same as structural support, but with a ladder. So this will be the uh, the entrance to our home. Our humble home. And I do want to keep it like up in the air. I think that would be a good idea. Um, build preserve walls? What? Do I have enough fossils and wood for all this shit, first of all? I think I have 3,000 of each, so that's going to be just fine. Oh, and I could set up primary color. What? Bro, are you kidding me? Let's look up there, see what's happening. All right, cool. Um, can I get out of this menu? Thank you so much. Wow, look at my structural support. Hooray! And then build out uh, back this way. I'll probably loop in these uh, other buildings as well, just because they look like fun. We'll have a good time. We'll have a bingo night, everyone. Me and my two neighbors, who I don't think exist. Maybe my neighbors are the night killers. That's not good. That's why I built myself up on a ladder. Because these guys kill in the night. <laughs> That's why they call night killers. And put two and two together. <coughs> I think I might be um, kind of low on fossils. Let's see. No, I got 3,500 fossils, so I think I could build basically whatever I want. That's going to be quite nice. That's going to be quite nice. So, structural support. Let's hook it into the other one. Build it. Yeah. Build it. Ah. Uh. <laughs> it's actually pretty fun. I like rust, uh, but it does take a lot longer to build stuff. Grab is, is largely about building. There we go. And we'll do a, a ten room little house since I'm blocked by that stump. But yeah, an entry room and then uh, nine rooms in the back. That seems pretty good. Balcony room with no ceiling. Hmm. Fascinating. 
Can I get rid of this? Please? It says I'm harvesting wood, but I'm not harvesting wood. That's terrible. Alright. Climb up the ladder. Look at my little platform! It's so cute! And then I can put like a campfire on top of this house. I'm sure it ain't gonna burn down. It's like metal and shit. Whatever. I do what I want. Oh. Uh, look at that. Also, I'm hungry. Nice time to eat is when you're uh, hanging out by the campfire. Mm-hmm. Making some s'mores. We don't have chocolate or marshmallows, so I have to use uh, Tyrannosaur tails and bug guts or some shit like that. Uh, let's see about more metal rooms. Defense. Hmm. Is this, like, super good? Should I be making this? How do you get over it? I guess you fly over it. <laughs> Duh! Closed room. Fully walled-in room. No, that's not what I want. Room with a door frame. Closed room. Teleport a room? What? What? I guess I'll go with this. At least I know what, uh, what I'm looking at then. Kinda. <laughs> it's not the easiest, uh, building controls that I've ever experienced. Alright. I need something with two doors. Can we do that? Closed room, no door. Well, I could do wood, I suppose. <clears throat> OMCR. Open multi-story contiguous, contiguous room. Is this what I want? Does it have a door on the other side? It doesn't look like it does. Fart. Fart in your mouth. Poop in your butt. I think it builds the door when I make the, uh, the other rooms. If I'm remembering correctly. So I'm gonna switch over to the stone rooms and go ahead and try it. OMCR. Look for another force field door blueprint. Oh, is it different for 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 all that? I I'm not sure. We'll have to see. Fly this way. Fly this way. Uh build. Oops. <laughs> I closed the menu. You're supposed to you're supposed to click it. Click it. Make it wicked. Alright. Build. Hey, there's something. Okay, so I guess that's working relatively well. Just need to finish uh, making my rooms nice and contiguous. Contiguous rooms. What a word. What a word, dude. Alright, more and more. And then I got four more to do. We can do that. And then I'm nice and safe. It could be nice and safe in our giant building. Oh, look at how nice it is in here. Hell yeah. There's so much room for activities. Uh, is that gonna work? I guess it does. Build it up. Build it up. Oh. Alright. So here we go. I got one window, but that's all I need. There's a Grokar attack going on as well. That's not good. I probably have to put up defense. Erect some defense! Oh. And it sounds like they're coming to take the Grokars away. Don't worry, everyone! Alright. Are you down there? You little bastard? Mm, it's probably going to take a lot to fence all of this in. I think so. Hey, buddy! Pa pa pow! Pa pa pow! Yeah! Use a bitch! That's right! Oh god. I remember that sound. That's a bad sound. <laughs> That's the explodey sound of those inferno bombers. Get the fuck out of here! That's right. Teach you a good lesson. Oh, and Wee Wee is here. 
Perhaps I could give him a nice fence to stay behind. It's dangerous to do this shit at night. There's always some madness running around. Yeah, but I slayed that mob, right? Right? I got him, right? Hmm. Defensive, offensive. Laser fence. Hmm, that could be quite good. Gun turrets? Oh, shit. I like this. Let's make some gun turrets. Then I don't even need a fence. I'll make a fence of bullets. Dude. Hell yeah. Alright. That'll do nicely. Stay away from my fucking house. Can I get some help from the turret with taking this guy out? The turret's not helping at all. Maybe I need to load some bullets into it or something. Like I said, still much that I uh, have to discover about the mysteries of Grav. Pa pow, pa pow. You should be getting chewed up by turrets right now, fucking asshole. Probably gonna back into another, another creature. Oh, blueprint. Ifrit anti-vehicle missile. Oh my god. We got missiles? Fuck. <laughs> There's one more weapon to build before I can call it a day. Hmm. It only has a bit of ore. Control click to split stack. Um, I don't know. Like 500 ore? Is that going to be good? Stick it in there. Oh, 50 at a time. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Thanks so much. Um, so turn it on, right? Upgrade. I should upgrade it. Oh, God. Shoot that fucking thing! Ah. <sighs> you didn't, you didn't do your job. Here, I'll repair you. You're welcome. Fucking shitty turret. I don't understand nothing no more. I thought I could depend on you. Well, at least I remember how to repair things. That's positive. Let us go to the top of my house. Oh, I could make like a, a second story even. That would be badass. I'd be such a badass. Huh. Okay. I missed. <laughs> I was trying to jump in my house. I've got so much other shit to build here. Uh, yeah, armories and science stations and respawner. That's really fucking important. Let's shove it in the corner as much as possible. There you go. And like that. Build. Build by armory. Come on. It's probably going to be sticking out the side. Oh well, can't be perfect, you know. Not enough space. Well, I'm doing my best, goddammit. Science station. Factory's gonna stick out quite a ways. Maybe I want to put it against this wall. Line it up on the beam so I can have like a corner. A corner of deliciousness. Here we go, this is where I go to do my science stuff. Hey, that's pretty cool. Kitchenette. Mmm. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Ho oh, oh. ho. Uh, right there. Don't move. Build it up. Alright. Vehicle bay. Oh god. We should put this outside. Yes, we should. That's good that I'm putting this because, uh. I wouldn't probably have remembered. Oh god. What the fuck? another bomber thing. Did they get my turret? I guess not. The turret is safe. Die. Oh, because he's aggressive. Aggressive firebug. God damn. All I wanted to do was build a vehicle bay. Is that so wrong? I guess it is. I guess nobody wants me to have nice things. Oh, fuck. Why? Why does this always happen? How could this happen to me? 
I made my mistakes. Build this up. Oh, that's right. I need a fucking generator. Does the orb of the generator go down? Hmm. That's quite a question, isn't it? Wow. A little bit of lag there. Everything's okay. Everything's just fine. Let's get up in our house. What else do I need to build? Vehicle base done. Research station. Do I really need it? I've unlocked all the player jobs so far. I guess I don't. Let's get our respawn location. Respawn. Uplink. Do it. I think. Here we go. I linked myself to it. Excellent! Fuck yeah! Doing stuff! Then I can make a storage bin? Aw, oh, shit yeah. I'm gonna do all of this. I'm gonna make it so nice in here. Damn. What a house. We got it going. Anyways, friends, this has been Grav. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I do thank you so, so much for watching. I hope that you'll join us for the next episode. We're going to do some more base building, explore the planet a little bit more. Uh, probably maybe two, three more episodes, something like that. And then we'll call Grav. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with it so far. I don't know if I would recommend it 100%, especially with the price point. But if it's on a pretty steep sale and you do enjoy the uh, collecting and the base building... Why not? Go go give it a try. Anyways, uh, I appreciate you watching. I appreciate all of you guys' support. Thank you so, so much. It's been an awesome, awesome ride. And uh, I hope you guys are still enjoying Grav as well. Do let me know if uh, you'd like to see something else. Because we're going to have a, a spot in the schedule for that. So I hope you guys will look forward to it. Anyways, I ramble. Uh, <laughs> I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. Thanks so much for watching, friends. And until the next time. Bye-bye! One, two, three, four Goodbye, goodbye, see you again Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends